My name is Janae Strachey, and this is On Air with Heritage Action, a podcast built for conservatives. Twice a week, we break down in five-ish minutes or less how you can get involved today in the fight for conservative values. Today, I want to introduce you to the latest battle in the left's war on sex and gender. Joe Biden and his admin have a new regulatory rule to further confuse and obfuscate what it means to be male or female. But before I talk about what's coming ahead, let's look back on a very revealing moment during the confirmation hearings of Judge Katanji Brown Jackson to the Supreme Court. Senator Marsha Blackburn asked Judge Jackson a very simple question. She said, can you provide a definition for the word woman? Jackson answered, quote, can I provide a definition? No, I can't. End quote. Jackson wasn't being coy or plain dumb. She was strictly adhering to left-wing ideology where there are no clear definitions. Gender is something only a person can self-identify as. And with a quick search on, on the internet, you can find out that there are 12, no, 57, wait, 68 and counting self-identifying labels for gender identity out there. And on this list of gender identities, there are even multiple terms for people who lack gender identity entirely. Let that sink in. We're reaching the culmination of a decades-long war on sex and gender. 50 years ago, sex and gender were synonyms and could be used interchangeably. And for most of us, they still are. But according to so-called progressives, sex and gender are not the same. Sex only refers to physical characteristics at birth. Meanwhile, gender encompasses a person's identities, expressions, and societal roles, or so they say. According to this liberal orthodoxy, how could Katanji Brown Jackson be expected to define woman? Is woman a sex or rather a gender? And if it's a gender, then whose self-identifying definition of woman do we accept? In George Orwell's famous novel, 1984, The Government of Oceana, creates newspeak to change the language and control how people think. With the left's rewriting of sex and gender, we're dealing with progressive newspeak. They're trying to redefine our words and with them, our laws. So with that said, I wanna turn back to the Biden administration and a regulatory rule they're preparing to roll out. It's expected that the Department of Education will soon release a rule Uh, change expanding the definition of sex in Title IX of the Education Amendments of 1972 to mean sex stereotypes, sex-related characteristics, including intersex traits, pregnancy or related conditions, sexual orientation, and gender identity. This is newspeak for the word sex, and the result is that Every school in America, from kindergarten to university, will have to accept this new definition or lose the federal funds they receive. The ramifications of the new rule are huge. Many of us know Title IX best in terms of sports. When this rule goes into effect, men who simply identify themselves as women will be allowed to compete in women's sports. Universities and schools won't be able to object because they'll lose federal funding. Women's sports will stop being competitive and women will lose out on athletic scholarships. For some girls, sports is a key part of their pathway to higher education and into America's boardrooms. One study found that 94% of senior female executives played competitive sports. But Title IX goes beyond sports, and Biden's redefining of sex to mean gender identity is bad for both boys and girls. No longer will there be separate bathrooms, locker rooms, dorm rooms, overnight accommodations, and anything else that you can think of that would have privacy and separation for girls and boys. Under Biden's new rules and regulations, your son might go on a school trip and share a hotel room with a girl who identifies as a boy. Your daughter will be forced to use the school showers with boys who identify as girls. You may be asking yourself, why in the world is the Biden administration doing this? Because the radical leftists are in charge and they want to destroy what it means to be a man or a woman. If you recall, Nancy Pelosi changed the House rules to remove all gendered words. 
She won't say grandmother, uncle, niece, or brother-in-law. Instead of saying woman, they say menstruating person. Instead of saying pregnant woman, they say birthing person. If the left can convince America that there is such a thing as a pregnant male, then they'll be able to convince the populace of anything. They'll newspeak any idea, any policy, any agenda. Free speech will mean accepted view. Equality will mean discriminating against the right people. God-given rights will mean government-issued permissions. So what can we do about all of this? The first step is to be aware. And that was the point of today's podcast. We want to bring everyone up to speed on what's happening. The next step is to be active and vocal in opposition to the rule change for Title IX. You can, of course, speak up now and please do. But know that once Biden's new rule is officially released to the Federal Register, all citizens will have the opportunity to submit comments for at least 30 days before it can go into effect. The administration is required to respond to every unique comment. So the more, the merrier. At times, enough public back backlash has even stopped a rule. And even if the rule becomes law, comments submitted can provide more hurdles for the left to defend it in court. When the comment period begins, we are going to be sure to let you know. So stay tuned, keep listening, and make sure that you are signed up for emails by going to heritageaction.com. Thanks. That's it for another episode of On Air with Heritage Action. Thank you for tuning in. If you like what you heard in today's episode, please click the follow button. If you want to receive a text message each time a new episode airs, text PODCAST to 51776 and you'll never miss an episode. That's PODCAST to 51776. Hi, it's me again, and we need your help. If you like the insights and activist resources we are providing, please take one minute and help us spread the word. Share this episode with friends and family on social media, email, or text. We need everyone's help in the fight to hold Washington accountable. And don't forget, you are also able to subscribe and listen to episodes on your smartphone. Just open up your favorite podcast app and search for On Air with Heritage Action. Click subscribe and download episodes so you can take them with you on the go. It's the best way to make sure you never miss a thing. Thanks.